Hello children, in this video lecture, I have prepared uh, for you poem 1 of Flamingo. Our poem 1 is My Mother at 66, written by Kamla Das. Let's take brief idea of our poetess. Kamla Das was born in Malabar. She is recognized as one of India's foremost, po foremost poets. Her works are known for their originality, versatility and indigenous flavor of the soil. Kamla Das has published many novels and short stories in English and Malayalam under the name Madhavi Kutti. Some of her works in English include the novel Alphabet of Lust, a collection of short short stories, Padmavati the Harriot, and other stories, in addition to five books of poetry. She is a sensitive writer who captures the complex subtitles of human relationships in lyrical idiom. My mother at 66 is an example. Kamla Das, one of the greatest literary figures in Manyalam literature. Reflection of a lonely heart is a common theme in her poems. To Kamla Das, the heart permeates into the reader's mind. She had been the recipient of famous awards such as Asian Poetry Prize, Kent Award, etc. Kamla Das is a skilled painter of images and her poetry is a finely woven piece of imaginary where she fuses memory and observation. She was part of a generation of Indian writers whose work centered on personal rather than colonial experiences. Let's look at the introduction of the poem. In this poem, the poetess is commenting on the relationship between a mother and a daughter when they cannot afford to be together for long. The poetess is going to catch the plane at Cochin. Her old mother, Pell and sick, is also accompanying her to the airport. The mother looks colorless like a dead body. She is unlikely to leave for long. The poetess doubts if she will be able to meet her again. She looks out of the car and finds young trees and racing past. She also notices happy children running out of their houses. They stand for a healthy and hopeful life. The old mother is nearing her end. The poetess became shake, becomes shaky. But she tries to cheer up the old woman with a smiling face. She promises to see her mother again. Kamla Das is famous for capturing complexities of human relationship. The poem My Mother at 66 is one of the finest examples of the human bonding, especially that of a mother and daughter. It describes the pain, fear of the poet and losing her mother due to harsh reality of life, which is death. Children, here is the brief idea about where the poem is set, its mood, its theme, and its title. Setting The poem is set in a car. The poem poet is on her way to the airport in Cochin. She is driving from her parents' place with her mother seated beside her. Mood It is very difficult for the poet to accept that her mother is old and is inching close to death. Looking at her mother sitting beside her, she notices her corpse-like ashen face which disturbs the poet. She is both sad and anxious like any other child. She is afraid and insecure at the thought of losing her mother. Thus, this poem portrays a painful experience. Theme This poem revolves around the theme of advancing age and the fear of loss and separation. The poet looks at her old and feeble mother and the finality of death looms large on her mind. 
Looking at her old mother, she is pained and worried as she realizes that the mother may not live long. Title The poet one day in the car looks at her mother seated beside her. She notices her ashen and a pale visage and the reality that her mother is growing old and consequently inching close to death seems to dawn on the poet. She is painted and saddened as she watches her mother lumber towards her old age, 66. Children, here I have given for you text and line-wise summary of the poem. Let's understand it. Driving from my parents' home to Cochin last Friday morning, I saw my mother beside me. The poet is driving back from her parents' home to Cochin from her holiday in her parents' house the previous week on a Friday morning. The poet's mother was with her next to her on the front seat in the car to see her off. Children, this poem is without any full stop or we can say it is a one-sentence poem. In very first lines, the central theme of the poem is disclosed for the reader or for we can say us. She looked at her mother closely and presents her image before us in further lines. Doors open mount her face ashen like that of a corpse. The old woman started feeling tired and sleepy. She had fallen asleep on the front seat with her mouth slightly open. At the same time, Poetis turned back and looked at her mother. Her face looked pale and ash-colored as that of a dead body. In this lines, the poet was observing her mother. She compared her pale and ash-like face with that of corpse. It seemed as it had lost the vitality of life as she realized that her mother was not young any longer and that appearance had caught up with her age. Here the poet shows the typical love and affection which is present in mother-daughter relationship. And realized with pain that she was as old as she looked, but soon put that thought away. The poetess was frightened as the reality seized her that her mother had grown old. She was not ready to accept it as old age is followed by death. So she tried to put her thought away and looked out of the window. The poetess became nervous in this lines. She thought that her mother would not live long. She was deeply pained. This was very hard for her to accept. So she was determined to focus her attention on something else to drive out the negative feelings. Away and looked out at young trees sprinting, the merry children spilling out of their homes. She started looking out in order to take away the frightening thought from the mind. She noticed the young trees appeared to be running back at full speed. She compared her mother with trees who looked lifeless while sitting beside her. She also noticed children coming out of their home happily. The happy children are the representatives of youth and power. They were in sharp contrast to her own aged mother. Both trees and children show the growing and energetic stage of one's life, which according to the poetess is the stage of merrymaking. Yet the poet finds relief in young age and tries to escape there. The old age is doomed, lifeless and helpless and one cannot get relief from it as it reminds of death, whereas the young age is full of joy and ecstasy that symbolizes strength, vigor and happiness and gives a sort of relief.
but after the airport security check standing a few yards away i looked again at her when pale as late winter snow after reaching the airport the poetess went through the security check her mother was standing outside a few yards away after the security check she looked at her ho- mother again her face was pale white like a late winter moon the airport too was brimming with activity they reached the airport and passed through the formal security check the poetess stood at a distance from her old mother and again put her eyes on her this time again she looked pale the poet compares her with late winter's moon whose glow is dimmed by mist and fog making it appear pale dull and lifeless and felt that old familiar ache my childhood's fear but all i said was see you soon amma all i did was smile and smile and smile the poetess had a childhood fear of permanent separation from her mother but she did not show it to her mother she kept on smiling and smiling and said see you soon amma there were the words of reassurance that they would meet again and she smiled in an attempt to hide her feelings the poet remembers her familiar ache her fear of that childhood ache coming true made her feel sad she once had known in her childhood days that one day her mother will be no more death is inevitable and she will have to face it sometime in the near future she puts away all these sad thoughts away and all she said to her mother was see you soon amma and smiled and smiled at her she was overtaken by a terrible numbness that was all she said the poetic device used in the poem is similarly repetition in the last line of the poem and the tone is personification the poem is in single sentence punctuated by commas it indicates a single thread of thought it is spread with observations of the real world around and the way these are connected to the main idea the poem gives us a concept of aging which is a natural process it's truly said growing old is not a choice like growing up is children for your reference here i have given meanings difficult words uh, for your knowledge and textual exercise uh, here i have given you five question answers with uh, questions with its answers please learn and write in your fair notebook thank you